England's cricket team have been cleared to play day two of the third Ashes Test in Melbourne. This was after two members of the support staff and two of their family members were forced to isolate after testing positive for COVID-19. The England team initially reported only one positive test among the team's family group, but host board Cricket Australia confirmed there had been a rash of cases in the camp. Cricket Australia has issued a statement saying they have been informed that two members of the England cricket team's support staff and two of their family members returned positive COVID-19 rapid antigen tests and that the affected individuals are currently isolating. The team has also added that the entire playing group and all other support staff have undertaken rapid antigen tests in the morning and all have tested negative. The England cricket team will also have PCR tests on Monday and both teams will take extra precautions throughout play. Both playing squads have remained unchanged. Play was delayed half an hour to start at 11 a.m. local time. The England team reported the sole COVID-19 case just over an hour before play was to start. Some 20 minutes later, the team said it had been given the green light to head to Melbourne cricket ground. Australia will resume on 61 for one in reply to England's first innings 185. Australia lead the series 2-0 and can retain the Ashes with a draw in Melbourne. Cricket Australia said there was no impact on fans or other parts of the MCG, but host broadcaster Seven Network confirmed one of its staff members working on the Ashes at the stadium had tested positive for COVID-19 late on Sunday. Australia captain Pat Cummins was forced to miss the second test in Adelaide, having to isolate for a week after being identified as a close contact of a confirmed COVID-19 case. Australian authorities are currently battling a surge in COVID-19 cases driven by the Omicron variant.